All right, testing lab use cases. Well, Jeff, I'll turn it back over to you. Back to me. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Elliot. Um, so we're going to run through some use cases here that um, um, are commonly found. Um, press load monitoring. Um, so uh, can be as simple as um, you know, customer needs to press a uh, a bearing onto a shaft, or maybe they're um, applying, um, you know, a forming machine. Um, very common for just a standard uh, a th thousand series high capacity fatigue rated load cell because this machine is just going to be used on a constant basis, and and um, you know you need that fatigue rating. Um, in this case here, we're showing it um, paired with a um, INF. USB uh, 3 um, and uh, sending the signal to the PC for uh, graphing, logging, storing capabilities. Another application for, for medical testing here, uh, very, we're using the uh, Super SC miniature um, S-type load cell. And uh, so any type of medical research, um, you know, linear actuator, Applying a load on a, on a specimen, um, you know that that product's ideal for that. And uh, that one there, is paired with our 9330 uh, high-speed data logger, um, also using the BlueDAC software to collect uh, data and store it as well. Um, material te tensile testing, uh, very common to need to measure the forces and also perhaps displacement of the material as you're, you know, you're, you're pulling it up, pulling it apart. So um, you want to gather things like yield strength and yield stress. Um, for instance, here we're showing it with uh, 1200 series and the SIUSB product, um, which has up to four channels. So we have the load, load cell uh, data, also a, an ext extensometer to measure the displacement. And again, um, that is uh, connected directly to a PC so that you can uh, uh, gather all the necessary data and, and uh, graph it and store it as well. Uh, a material, material test machine here that we're showing, uh, this use case where um, it's, it's paired with one of our uh, wireless 1200 series load cell, the WTS uh, 1200 series. And the uh, nice thing about this is that, you know, it eliminates the cables and uh, that device is battery powered and it powers the excitation to the strain gauges and sends that signal uh, wirelessly to the uh, WTS uh, wireless base station. And, uh, you know, that uh, is connected to the PC and you can, again, log and graph and store all the data there in uh, our Log100 software. I think back to you, Elliot. Or is that me? That's me. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, this one is uh, uh, a bike frame fatigue tester. So uh, in this case, um, you know, they want to analyze the strength of a uh, bike frame and they're imparting loads on it using our 1000 series fatigue rated load cell and they cycle that um, frame to um, failure or to some number of cycles to make sure uh, they can inspect it afterward. And uh, that is also paired with the uh, INF USB product and connected to the PC for graphing and, and data logging. Right. Now I think we're back over to you, Elliot. Perfect. All right. So bike helmet impact test. Um, so essentially, we've got uh, an impact test, which is not uncommon to do. Um, and they're going to take a uh, bike helmet with a probably a head form inside and drop it onto an anvil mounted on a load cell. And they're just looking for data um, or how hard that impact is. And they'll probably go back and take a look at the helmet afterwards and see what damage can be found uh, relative to the applied force. So in this case, again, this is designed to be a relatively simple setup. Standalone laptop with uh, INF USB USB signal conditioner and our 1100 series, in this case, compression only load cell. Um, and again, just monitoring for those impact forces. <clears throat> Motor test stand, another really common one here. Um, and they may be trying to analyze very closely 
what the torque profile is of an electric motor under test. So you'd have a, essentially your, your motor on one end, you'd have your eight model ATQ telemetry torque device here in the center with appropriate couplings to mate to those shafts. And then you would have a brake of some type in this assembly that is serving as resistance for the motor as it starts up. And then essentially you're monitoring for what that torque profile is. Um, oftentimes at a very high sample rate uh, for that type of an application. Um, prosthetics load and fatigue testing. Um, any orthotics or prosthetics always get tested uh, per ASTM. So in this case, we've got a, essentially it's a load frame and you know, hydraulically actuated with uh, SSMF S-type load cell. And in this case, looks like they wanted to have a simple panel meter for remote display at the test stand and simultaneously log back to a laptop via uh, USB. So a good solution there that offers operator uh, force indication and perhaps a log function back at the laptop. Uh, touch screen force testing. This is another really common one. Typically there's going to be some sort of a probe or stylus mounted on the load cell. In this case, we're using our model SMTM and they're testing the touch screen of perhaps a phone or a kiosk or something. And perhaps that it's going to have a, a motorized stage that's going to move that stylus at different points about that screen and apply different touch points and forces and monitor it. So in this case, they're taking the SMTM, very compact, very convenient uh, thread engagement point for both installation on the uh, on the stage and the stylus. And then we're using our model 9330. Uh, could be back to data log, could be back to USB, to a PC, or could just be logging data. 